Okay, this one is called psyche, meaning the Greek word for soul. And Olga shared with me at one point an experience she had before I met her that um, it's like that of um, Teresa of Avila, one of the, the, Spanish, the Spanish mystic, who had this sort of experience that some people thought of as psychosexual, where it's like the sexual centers of her body were awakened, but it was more than just sexual. It was like all through her body, like ecstasy. And it was called later the transverberation, and she wrote about it in her, um, I think it's in her autobiography, just called La Vida, The Life. And um, other mystics have talked about this. Uh, it's called sometimes called bridal mysticism, and there's a whole tradition of it in, in both East and West. And in East, it's called Kundalini, where the, the, um, the, the metaphorical serpent winds three times up the spine and then awakens the crown chakra. And it's like a, a, a total transfiguration. And so Olga told me about this, and then later, um, perhaps because of her influence or because of reading about it and thinking about it, I had a similar experience. It's the only time I've ever had it. So, <laughs> you know, and I was in my 30s, I think, when it happened. So this is kind of a, a combination of the imagery from what Olga told me and my own experience. Psyche. Obscure and rare, that state to which I fell or rose, no, floated awake into your invisible arms. You whispered, Desiree, and touched me with a thousand exquisite fingers, a rush like hummingbird wings, filtering through every parcel from crown to toe to crown, crescendoing, falling, continuing night's extravagant enterprise, where, where we flowed and spiraled in the chakras of the spine blossomed in the thousand-petaled lotus of the brain. You were not in and out and away like any ordinary lover, but lingered all night, sequestering, calling me beloved. And the poet Rumi writes about this too. It talks of, of um, God or Allah as the beloved. Now, Olga also um, had what she called an experience of the awakening of the third eye. And as you can see by now, Olga was very eclectic, but she was open to Eastern ideas as well as Western and synthesized them. And um, this is just about the, the, I haven't had this, by the way, <laughs> um, but this is just called uh, a chant for the opening of the third eye. Open the portal just above the eyes, yes, where nothing is withheld. You who know this weary, fluttering mind, play on the double-fretted board at the forehead where two vertical bars embed themselves. Fill in the trenches where wars, worries march, their force march through sand. Neither Botox, surgery, nor peels appeal but only new stirrings, fiery tinglings, just behind the center point of the brow, past the cap gap where angels post, and nothing holds itself apart. 